hey loves and welcome back to my channel it's been a long time so in today's video we are going to learn how to make this beautiful dress it's a turtleneck dress with a puffy sleeve then the back side is open so guys um let's get to work my name is ijoma so i used 2.5 yards of thick duchess for this this duchess is not thick thick but it is thick so i used two and half so first of all i will cut the skirt parts i will subtract my half length my half length is 16 then from there i marked my shoulder to my hip that is 27 then the full length is 35 i want it to be short plus the seam allowance so after that i will mark my waist measurement divided by four plus one in seam allowance my hip divided by four plus one in seam allowance then at the full length you will divide your hip by four and mark exactly what you got do not add any allowance to it that is if you want this dress to be short so after doing that, I connected my waist to hip and hip to the full length. Then I will cut out. After cutting this out, I will use it to cut the back part. So the back part will have um, a zipper allowance, but it will not have a slit. If you check very well, you will notice that the back part does not have a slit. I don't want it to have a slit, but it will have a zipper allowance so that is all for the skirt part then to the for the bodies for the upper parts i will measure my armhole line that is eight inches my half length that is 16 inches plus one inch seam allowance then i'll go ahead and rule the lines so after doing that i will mark my shoulder divided by two plus half an inch seam allowance then i will connect my armhole so after doing this um this is a total neck dress right i am slim so i made the neck width to be 2.5 i used 2.5 for the wideness of the neck and three inches for the depth i used 2.5 by three if you want to use three by three that is okay then after marking my neckline i connected my shoulder slant so the next thing is to measure my busts my bust is 34 inches divided by 4 plus 1 inch seam allowance. Then my waist is 27 inches. But remember, we'll add our darts. So remember to add your dart allowance and then your normal seam allowance. Then I will go ahead and cut out. So if you want to reduce the measurement of your bust, it is okay. But I will do that when I'm shaping. I want to reduce the measurement of my bust by one inch so that it will be very fitted around the back part. So this is for the front. Then I will use the front to cut out the back the back will not have any zipper allowance there's no need for a zipper allowance here just indicate your neck width you can see that i indicated where my neck width is at so just mark your neck width and leave it for now then cut out the rest of the front on the back you can see what i have here but i have not cut my neckline for the back so after doing this i will remove the front part then at the waistline i will come in by four inches you can come in by 3.5 it depends on how wide you want your back to be so i came in by four inches and from that four inches i will connect it to my neck width Remember, the neck width for the front and for the back will be the same. So from that 4 inches that I marked, I marked, I connected the line straight down to my neck width and I cut out the remaining part of the center back. So you can see what we have here and our back, back part will have a lining and i will use my fabric as my lining but if you want to turn it with a bias you are free to turn it with a bias too but turning it with the fabric is way better so i have cut out the lining for the back and that is my fabric so here is for the sleeve the sleeve will be a puffy sleeve so i have folded my fabric 
I'll go ahead and mark my sleeve and then I will cut out. So if you want to add a fitted sleeve, fine. But I think um, this puffy sleeve is just the best for this dress. So if you want, you can add a band to the down part or an elastic. But I will use an elastic for this sleeve. So this one is for the rope or the belt for the back. Remember, this dress has a belt at the back it has a rope that you will tie so this is what i will use for that belt or for the bow tie or whatsoever for the back so it will be two one for the right side and one for the left side and i have three inches wide here this is three inches the width is three inches unfold but if you want it to be wider than this one it is still okay then for the total neck measure your round neck my round neck is 15 and i added 1.5 seam allowance then the wideness is two two inches on fold so if your round neck is 16 you measure 16 plus 1.5 inch seam allowance 1.5 inch is okay because you add a hook to it they will overlap each other so just measure your round neck and then cut it out and add 1.5 inch seam allowance then the wideness should be two inches so after joining the total neck will be 1.5 i don't know if you understand so here is for the back and here is the rope for the back i am done turning the rope and i'll go ahead and fix it close to the waistline you will come up by like one inch or half an inch but come up by one inch so that you'll be on a safer side so after placing your rope you go ahead and turn the center back with the lining just the center back do not turn the side so i have turned the center back with the lining and the belt is in between the lining and the fabric so this one is for the front part i have added my darts and i will place the front and the back together then i will go ahead and join at the shoulder and then take my bust measurements and my waist measurements so so remember to join your shoulder you don't have to do the normal it will have a rough sewing at that shoulder you don't have to turn it with the lining because you still add your turtleneck i don't know if you understand then go ahead and mark your bust measurements and your waist measurements then you connect so after joining you will iron very well before trimming your half length so i am done joining the front and the back together and like i said if you want you can reduce your bust measurements by one inch so that it will be very fitted at the back so right now i will trim my armhole and i'll also trim my half length a bit just a bit just a bit especially the back part so after doing that i will go ahead and add my sleeve my sleeve and the down part of this gown so i have shaved the down part and like i said the down part will not have any slits so i am done adding an elastic to my sleeve and right now i will join the but the down part to the upper part so you go ahead and open your zipper allowance for the skirt part just open up your zipper allowance before joining so after joining i'll show you guys what it looks like so i am done joining my sleeve and the down part and this is what we have so for the remaining side of that waist you overlock first of all overlock or weave overlock then you can fold the remaining rough parts at that back you have to overlock that area before you fold i don't know if you understand then you go ahead and add your zipper already you know where your zipper allowance is you have ironed you will know where your zipper allowance is so overlock fold the rough part and then add your zipper allowance then this is the rope you can see what i have there so for the total neck you will fold your neckline you fold the front neckline into two and then you will notch the center so after notching the center you also fold the fabric for your turtleneck you fold it and you will also notch the center i don't know if you understand notch the center of the neckline notch the center of the turtleneck and then you go ahead and join so if you are joining place the notch together 
the notch that you made place them together then you will sew from the inside first of all you will sew from the inside first of all make sure that the notches are matching you will sew and you will only join this turtleneck to the front neckline so i am done joining to the front neckline right now i'll go ahead and fold out my turtleneck like i will now fold it over to the right side and after closing this is what i have i don't know if you understand so the remaining part of the turtleneck at the back will be free like it will be hanging or floating you will not have there is no neckline at the back remember so after that you go ahead and add your bra hook bra hook is just the best if you want to add a button you can add a button as well so I hope you understand this turtleneck part. You only join your turtleneck to the front neckline and the back will be hanging. So this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching. And please do not forget to subscribe so that you can get more videos from me. So thank you guys so much and see you in my next video. Bye.